Hello, I'm here to talk about the Pico Genie Impact 2 Plus and the Impact 4 Plus. There's previous videos that I've made on using them as an artist's projector. So both models build on the success of the predecessors, the Impact 2 and 4. And the Plus models have got some really impressive new features in addition to the standard features. So we'll first of all look at the Impact 4 which is the larger of the two projectors. So it includes some really new um, features that are an upgrade on the previous model. So it has HDMI with Keystone and Bluetooth built in and digital zoom capabilities. It includes USB-C port mirroring zoom in and zoom out auto and manual focus which is a really useful tool as you'll see when i demonstrate some artist work it's got 4k capability the hdmi works with bluetooth and keystone it also supports 3d for 3d movies with active 3d glasses and you can source 3d art um, content and movies via youtube and it's also got on android 9 operating system on it the standard features that will have been shown in our previous video includes touchpad, powerful speakers, the app store which includes Netflix and many more apps, Bluetooth 5, it's got over 30,000 hours of lamp lifetime and it's got a four point keystone correction which is really useful when we are looking at transferring content onto canvas. I previously demonstrated the Impact 2 and the Impact 4, now demonstrating the Impact 2 Plus. So its new features, it's brighter by 25%, 250 lumens. Its battery has been enhanced by 25%. Again, so useful if we're not wanting to use wires when we are working. It's got an improved user interface. It's got USB-C charging and the touchpad is so useful and easy to use. It's got flexible projection. It's known as the art projector all around the world. It's chosen by artists because of its flexibility. The Android system is on there and so it's battery power. It's really easy to set up with really good mirroring. The, the Impact 4 Plus, we're going to demonstrate that on canvas now, looking at the zoom and looking at exactly what that means. So we're going to focus on zoom now and what that means. So we are connected via HDMI, we're going to select HDMI using the remote control. And we're going to click on the top right hand button, which will take us to the projector settings and we are able to move down to the four point keystone and we can see at that point as we've got auto um, keystone turned off we can select zoom in and out and we can zoom really small if we wanted to go as small as a post-it note we can actually move the projector forward to do that we're going to go to the keystone correction reset area which would then get the keystone correct and we're back to full zoom so i'm going to move an easel in to demonstrate uh, my setup i've already set this up but i'm going to demonstrate clicking onto the hdmi menu and top right hand button going to projector and then going to the manual four point keystone and then i go to keystone a corner correct corner correction and we get a menu that comes up here and we select on the corners and use the up down left or right to adjust our keystone manually and that will make for the perfect positioning on a canvas i'm now going to move my canvas in demonstrating that and i'll go and click on the menu button go back and then I can just adjust where I want my position on here and I'd have to go to keystone correction to get it perfect so the, the quality of the 
projected image allows me to trace directly onto the canvas so I don't miss the details. On the Impact 4 Plus, I can connect uh, to Bluetooth speakers whilst projecting through the HDMI and I can choose where the sound comes from and that might be the onboard speakers of the Impact 4 Plus or through external speakers. It's also 4K compatible which means that I can play back 4K files. So here I've just got the first draft of my sketch. I think I find it very useful just to keep going back to the projector and just covering off and then I can go back and look where I need to improve some of my detailing. And as I move forward, that would then give me um, the ability to add colour, paint, whatever medium I'm using to move towards the finished product. So I've used um, the projector Impact 4 Plus to get to my first draft stage. Uh, just to say, I can use my remote control or I can use the touch screen on here and it works just like a mouse so I can press the home button I can then select any of these by using my finger as a mouse and double click mm -hmm. takes me straight back to the HDMI I can change my sound volume on here back button is really useful there to get you to wherever you want to be And now we're focusing on the Impact 2 Plus and this is the projector out onto the wall and it's on a universal power supply that's provided with it for UK, USA, EU and Australia. It will also work off standard USB to USB-C and the cable is included. It would also work off a power bank. We just take it off power supply see it's still bright holding it in our hand it's so much smaller than a mobile phone even if it's folded we can take it to as small as you like on the wall it has a focus wheel on the side that you can use so on the impact 2 plus we have touch screen capabilities so your finger works just like a mouse so you're able to select what you want to and you just double click with your finger just as you would on a mouse and it also has volume buttons on there a back button and an ok button and the home button <laughs> 